Hello. So today our class will be on quantum numbers. So what are quantum numbers? Obviously, there are some numbers, but what do they represent? So if you take an example like me, I'm standing in a three-dimensional space, a uh, few meters from my left wall, a few meters or, or, or I should say a few centimeters from my back wall and a few meters from the uh, top or I should say the roof okay so it so to get my position in a three dimensional space I require my x coordinate my y coordinate and also my z coordinate so I require three coordinates to identify my location in the three dimensional space what what about electrons so how can we locate our electron? So quantum numbers help us to locate the position of electron in the space. So how they do, how they help us to locate the electron in three dimensional space? Let's see this. So, so let's learn about quantum numbers. Okay, there are four quantum numbers. One, two, three and four okay nothing more just four quantum numbers first one is principal quantum number I will explain about what is principal quantum number in my uh, uh, later on okay in this video itself so principal quantum number it is represented by n small n okay and the other quantum number is angular momentum quantum number angular momentum quantum number it is represented by small l and the other quantum number is magnetic quantum number magnetic quantum number it is represented by small m suffix l okay the next quantum number is spin quantum number quantum number so there are four quantum numbers principal quantum number angular momentum quantum number, magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number. But what do they represent? Okay, what each of them represent, we will see it now. Okay. The first quantum number, principal quantum number, which is n, represent how far the electron is from the central nucleus. You got the point? See. If this is an atom, if this is an atom and this is the nucleus and this is an electron so this quantum number will represent how far is the electron from the nucleus so if the principal quantum number increases which uh, principal quantum number is for, uh, increases that means the uh, yeah if principal quantum number is 1 and other principal quantum is 2 that, that means the second electron is far from the nucleus okay so it represented by n and so what's next the next is angular momentum quantum number so the function of this quantum number angular momentum quantum number will represent the shape of the orbital now what's an orbital the question arises what's an orbital see electrons in an atom doesn't have a fixed position we can say that they they are orbitals are nothing but just space 
um, the uh, yeah, region in space in which there is a maximum probability to find an electron. Okay, those are just orbitals. Okay, it's like a space. Okay, if, if, if this is an orbital, it is it's just like a space, and there is a maximum probability to find an electron in that space. So that's an orbital. Okay, so angular momentum, Compton number, gives us the shape of an orbital. I mean that the shape of that space. So it is represented by L. And what about magnetic quantum number? So magnetic quantum number tells us how many orbitals will be there. Okay, it gives us the shape of the orbital, and magnetic quantum numbers tells us how many orbitals will be there, and spin quantum number tells us that what will the spin of the electron. Okay, it is spinning anti-clockwise or clockwise, so it will be uh, told by the spin quantum numbers. Okay, let's see. Hmm. So n n varies from to any number any natural number from starting from 1 okay it can be 1 2 3 okay what about l l can l can be 0 to n minus 1 okay and now what about m so so n n n goes from 1 2 3 to so on and l goes from 0 to n minus 1 okay let's see let's take an example of an atom Okay, let's take an example of an atom. Let's say that there is an electron in the second shell of an atom. Let's say that. So what will be its principal quantum number? It will be 2, right? So here, first shell has a principal quantum number of 1, second shell has a principal quantum number of 2. So let's concentrate in this electron. So it has a principal quantum number of 2 because it is in the second shell okay now if n is equal to 2 what will be the value of l so there is a formula l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 right l is equal to 0 to n minus 1 so what will the values of l so l l can be 0 and 1 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so l can be only two uh, digits 0 and 1 so these are the values of l so what are, what are the values of m then so m goes for minus l2 plus l okay so what will be what will be the value of magnetic quantum number for this electron let's see so l is 0 to 1 so uh, m m is equal to See, minus 0 to plus 0 will be irrelevant, right? So, we will write it 0, minus 1, again 0, and plus 1, right? M goes for minus L to plus L. So, minus L means minus 0 to plus 0. It will be irrelevant. So, I just wrote 0. And for 1, minus 1, 0, and plus 1. So, so as magnetic quantum number gives the number of orbitals gives the number of orbitals that means there are 1 2 3 4 there are four orbitals so there are four orbit orbitals so and this, uh, okay there are four orbitals now uh, let's uh, draw it So, uh, let's write an electronic configuration of an atom and we'll explain how these principal quantum numbers play an important role while writing the electronic configuration of an atom. Let's, let's take an uh, atom, uh, let it be uh, oxygen. 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 Oxygen has an atomic number of 6 atomic number of 6 so 2 comma 4 okay so first shell gets two electrons okay first first shell and the electron okay 1s2 
टू पी टू टू एस टू टू पी टू या सॉरी या ऑक्सीजन हैज एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ एट दैट मीन्स टू कोमा सिक्स द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ्रेगुशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन विल बी वन एस टू कोमा टू एस टू कोमा टू पी फोर सी सो वन एस टू टू एस टू टू पी फोर वन टू थ्री फोर या सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस What if a orbital has three electrons? We know that a single orbital can have only two electrons. What if there can be three electrons? So let's imagine. Let's imagine that the first orbitals had three electrons: one spin upwards, one spin downwards, and the other spin upwards. So three electrons. are there in the first uh, uh, orbital so if three electrons are there in a single orbital that means that the quantum numbers of first and the second orbital are same right yeah it is not possible why it is not possible to have two electrons the same num same set of quantum numbers so i will explain in this way see if a electron See, quantum numbers represent the position of an electron in an atom. So, if two electrons have the same set of quantum numbers, that means in a position, in a point, there are two electrons. That would mean that if this is my position, there is someone inside me, right? In the same position, which is quite irrelevant. So, which is not possible actually to have two electrons in the same position. Yeah. So. so it's quite impossible to have three electrons in a single orbital so it's wrong so we can only have two electrons in a single orbital mm. okay so in uh, in this video we have learned about quantum numbers and also how to write a electronic configuration of an atom and we have answered the few uh, few basic questions right why can't why can three uh, electrons can have can three electrons can be present in a single orbital and also uh, we have answered a question that why can't two electrons can have a same set of quantum numbers yeah thank you